notice your first glimpse at the house. Notice the piano. That was the Jaws theme. So here it is. This is the house. She needs work. So basically what I'm thinking is TV on this wall here, there's a fireplace behind there and then we're gonna probably board up that entire corner so that we can have like a feature thing running through here. Probably leave that one set back. The electrics are in that top corner, gas is down there so we have to keep those accessible. The missus loves fake plants. Does anybody else's, does anybody else's partner just love plants? Because I, Every, I just know this entire room is going to be filled with either fake or real plants. I already know. I can see that corner. You see that corner there? That's going to have a giant plant that reaches the ceiling. I can already see it. <laughs> I'm not here to show you around the house. I'm actually just here to pick up some dust extraction for my dad. But one thing is that I'm always quite skeptical about buying things from YouTube. By the way, this is so echoey. This is probably the worst place to talk about it. Actually. I'm gonna just get the dust extraction and then we'll talk more about it at home. Okay, so, focus. Okay, so normally I'm pretty skeptical about the things that I buy from YouTubers because normally most of the time they're being paid to say nice things about everything and so you don't really get a realistic view of what a product is really like. But when I saw this one, I genuinely thought, Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I quite like all the little features it's got. And then when I seen Matty using it, Potato Jet, and now Peter McKinnon. And then when Peter compared it to the Swiss Army knife, where's mine? There is mine. I really understood what he was. T Let me focus on my face. It's trying to focus on the camera. No, there's not a. That's weird. The camera is focusing here, and I've got it on facial recognition focusing. I really hope there's not a face I can't see there. Okay, so when he anyway, when he compared it to a Swiss Army knife or something like this that's got a million and one different things in it, a flathead, pliers, a knife, a Phillips screwdriver, everything, a bottle opener, a tin opener, that's exactly right. He was not wrong. So I decided to pick this up because it genuinely looked interesting. And I'm here to give you an honest review, an unpaid review, because I paid full price, 155 quid in Britain on Amazon for this. So let's break it down. Let's go from the top to the bottom of why this thing's awesome. Starting with the top. The top, it's an Arca Swiss compatible plate. It comes with its own plate, but if you already have Arca Swiss plates that you use for other tripods and things, again, it's not focusing on me, it's focusing on over here. Again, it's focusing there, that's so weird. There really better not be a face there, that's freaky. Oh, it's moving. Okay, I'm gonna turn that mode off because I don't like that. So if you've already got Arca Swiss plates, then that's perfectly fine. You don't have to use the one that it comes with, but I mean, if you don't already have one, then yeah, do use it. Uh, it's absolutely solid. So as soon as you put something, as soon as you put the plate in and lock it down with this two locking system, double locking system, oh, awesome. It's not going anywhere. You literally just open this tab on the front and then that's it. You can move it wherever you want, like, and then snap it back up, job's a good one. Hi. Yeah, I'm just in the middle of filming something. And then this entire ball head as well actually comes off. So you just twist this, press down this little chrome button, and that's it. It slides out. Lock it down. Job's a good one. Now we get to the fun parts. So the fun part is that this microphone goes in the side, and you can rotate it so that if you want to point the camera towards whoever's talking, or you want to point the camera at something but also want to talk about the thing that you're pointing it at, this, this is one thing that I wish somebody would get right. It's that if I'm taking my camera and I'm vlogging with it and I'm using this tripod, it's that whenever I get into my car, I put my camera down on the seat next to me and there's always one cable poking out of this side and then there's also now a, a microphone on this side. So it doesn't matter which way I put it down, I'm gonna break something. So I, I personally would prefer, I mean, you can turn the camera around, but then that doesn't work for some of the other features that this does. Is that too much to ask for perfection in a product? <laughs> On the other side of the microphone is a button. Now that's how you rotate the camera forwards and backwards. On the... 
Tell you what, we'll get rid of the microphone so you can see more clearly. Okay, so on the other side, we have this button that you can press in and out, and that rotates the camera forwards and backwards, and it locks into a few different positions. And then you've also got a button on this leg that extends the movement of these two front feet. Now, there's only two positions on that, which I thought was a little bit strange. You've either got this Mantis thing. I mean, it literally says Mantis in the name when you buy it. But that's a little bit too low, and, and the legs are a bit too far apart to really put it anywhere decent. So I don't think I'll ever be using that mode much, but I mean, again, it has it. And these two front legs, they literally fold in and come together so you can get a nice good grip on it. And it actually does feel good. It's not like a crap grip or anything like that. It does genuinely feel nice. And then hidden inside this back leg is this. Now, this is probably the best part of this entire tripod. This is where you're going to hook the tripod to so that you can get those top-down angles like you've seen at the beginning of this video. Because if you're anything like me, you saw that and went, oh, that's cool, but how many times am I actually going to use it? And I can't actually think of anywhere where I would use it. So let's count how many places in this house I can use that. See, it's, it's surprising in how many different places you can actually use it. You just got to get creative with it and you've really got to trust it. Because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, when a fairly expensive rig is relying on an inch or two of plastic to keep it from falling, you, you kind of get a bit sick. But nonetheless, it does work. It, it, it is pretty solid. And then also hidden inside this arm is a little bonus feature. This is the iPhone mount that it comes with. So this unfolds and extends. So if you're on the go making reels and you want to use this as an iPhone, come on, focus. And you want to use this as like your main reels or TikTok creation tripod, you can also use it for that. Now this has also got a thread on the bottom. So if you want to use it for any other tripods, that's perfectly fine. Does anybody else hate that when your camera's on a tripod and the ball head isn't perfectly center with the tripod? Oh, that just annoys me. Like that right there is annoying me. Like if it was off center, like, that annoys me. Oh, and we're not even done. Like where, where does this tripod actually keep storing all this stuff? So again, on that same leg where we have the hook, the iPhone mount, we also have this little cold shoe inside here. So you can either put anything that's got a cold shoe mount on it. So a microphone, or you can even put this ball head in and actually extend the length of the hand rail, hand rail, hand guard, hand, the handle. That's the word I was looking for. So what we have to do is we literally just unscrew this, take that out of there and put that inside there, lock it back down and that's it. You've got an extended tripod mount holder thing. Again, this is, you know what, this is me. This, You know why it's taking so long? It's because I want the camera to be dead center with the arm. So now you've got an extended vlogging arm for even wider angles. I personally won't ever use it like this because I like to set the camera down as a tripod all the time. So I guess you probably still could, but it wouldn't be a very pleasing angle. Yeah, I don't know why you would want to shoot at that angle. So like I said at the beginning, I'm always skeptical when a YouTuber tries to convince me to buy a product because I'm always like, you know what, I, like I said, you, you paid to say it. I can't think of a single thing that this is not good at. It's well made. It comes with every single accessory that you would possibly want. It comes with an iPhone mount and a hook to get those top down angles built into this. It's all, it's all compact and it's really been thought about. It's a genuinely thought about product that's actually made for the person that's gonna use it. It's not a throwaway piece of equipment that you're gonna buy because you've seen it on a video and you use it once and that's it, it goes in the drawer. I genuinely use this every single time I use my camera. Not because it's just, you know, it's easy, but it actually helps me get shots that I wouldn't be able to get before simply because of having that. 
and being able to get those top downs. Anyway, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff you already love to do. I'll see you in the next one. City. Thank you.